welcome to Little Learners. In this video, we're going to be making sensory bottles, also known as calming jars. These sensory bottles have proved to be very popular with children who have special educational needs such as autism, ADHD, anxiety, and a range of other needs. They're also very effective at calming babies. They're just really fun to look at, so they're suitable for anyone. So, let's get started. Don't worry about taking notes because I will put all of the ingredients and information in the description box below. First of all, you'll need a clear plastic bottle. It's important that the bottle is plastic rather than glass to make sure that it's safe for children to use. If you'd like to add colour to the water in your sensory bottle, all you'll need is some food colouring. In my opinion, everything is better when there's glitter, so I've got a range of it to go in my sensory bottle. I've also got some lovely sequins which are really effective in sensory bottles. Here I have some water beads. These are really cool. They start off as tiny beads. All you need to do is leave them in water for a couple of hours and then you have these. You'll also need some vegetable glycerin. This is a see-through, kind of gloopy liquid that makes everything in the sensory bottle flow slower when you shake it. Half fill your bottle with water. Next, add your food colouring. A little goes a long way and you don't want the colour to be too dark. So just put in a couple of drops at first. You can always add more later if you need to. To avoid a huge disaster, Put the cap back on and give it a shake to make sure that the food colouring and the water have mixed completely. Now it's time for my favourite part, the glitter. I've got some silver, purple and green. Next I'm going to choose which sequins I'd like in my bottle. I'm going to stick with the same kind of colours I used for the glitter. So I've got some silver, blues, pinks and greens here. So now I'm going to add the sequins to my sensory bottle and I'm definitely going to need more than that. Once I've added all of my sequins, I'm going to choose which colour water beads I would like to put in my bottle. Be careful when you put them in, they like to escape and bounce around the room. By now you'll be able to see that some of the glitter has started to drop down into the liquid, but a lot of it is collecting at the top. But don't worry, because we're not done yet. Next, you need to add your glycerin. The more you add, the slower your ingredients will move in the bottle when you shake it. Now, fill your bottle with water almost all the way to the top and give it a shake. And there you have it, an amazing sensory bottle. You can experiment with different colors, and even put something a bit different in your bottle. Here I've used Lego, but you could use any small toys. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And once you're subscribed, you can also click on the bell icon to make sure you get a notification every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.